Hello, and welcome back to Gold Rush. Now the 2.0 version. It's been quite a while since uh, we've been waiting on this release, and quite a while since we played on Gold Rush in general. But we are finally back. Gold Rush 2.0 came out late last night. Wasn't able to record last night. There's some issues, but I think everything has moved out since then. So we're hopping on now. And for now, I think what we're gonna do. I was thinking about it quite a bit. We're just gonna create a Zaviel. He's gonna continue on into Gold Rush 2.0, knowing the same people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, at least the ones that want us to know them. But I do plan on making a second character, one that's going to be a little bit more crazy. Um, I have a couple ideas for him, but uh, definitely make sure to look out for that. I do want to create a second character and start a separate series on the server as well. So we can get a little bit different walk of life. But for now, you know, just starting off, let's, uh, let's good old create Zaviel. I did take some pictures before the wipe, so we should be able to recreate him. So let's go Zaviel. And this time, uh, I think we're going to be changing our last name. We're going to do Zamaro. Uh, Zaviel Zamaro, I think it rolls off the tongue a little bit better this time. So let's create character. And uh, let's join the team real quick. Of course, I was waiting for that one to pop up. And it seems like there is a new spawn screen. So this is where our journey begins. Where are we going to start? I think the uh, perfect place to start our new adventure will be our old home over in Strawberry. We haven't been there in quite a long time again. It's going to be all a new experience, but uh, I think we could start in Strawberry, although I've heard there's some issues there. We might. You know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to start off where everything started off at the beginning over in Ansberg. This is where we originally started off our first adventure on Gold Rush 1.0. And you know what? This is where we're going to start it in 2.0. So let's collect that. Select that. Load in. And uh, let's create a character. All right, uh, well, this is a new character selection screen. Already kind of cool, a lot cleaner than the previous one for sure. So let's accept this, choose our mail. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a pain. Uh, we can look through stuff. It's gonna be pretty much all the similar stuff, just different UI, I believe. Uh, but this is gonna take quite a long time to recreate Zaviel. I have some pictures set up. So uh, I'm gonna spend probably the next hour creating my character and I will see you guys back once Zaviel is ready to go. And we're starting off our adventure. Alrighty, so. I think we're just about done with good old Zaviel. Couldn't get the chin exactly right, but I think I got it pretty damn close. I think Zaviel is uh, ready to go out. So let's hit save. And then again, we'll select Ansberg. And here we go. Zaviel is back. All right, I think I got it down pretty well now that I'm seeing it in game. It does look... Yeah, it looks like Zaviel. I think we got it pretty close, but uh, we either way are going to have to freaking get uh, some clothing. So let's find the clothing store. I'm not sure. Whoops, that's not the map. Not sure if it's changed from the last time. Oh, the map definitely. Oh, the map got a huge update. It seems now we can see actually each county, which is definitely nice to see these little red areas. Uh, does it tell us anything about those red areas mean? It does not, but definitely interesting. But again, there should be a clothing store somewhere in here pretty easily i'm guessing let's put that away all right still at the same spot as it was in 1.0 so let's head on over there also let's see what we have in our pockets let me figure out what buttons the inventory again it's been a little bit but i think inventory is b yes oh okay so new inventory uh i think i also saw that you're able to yeah you're able to move up around the inventory now which is quite nice i don't think you can resize it but you can definitely move it around uh so we have 32 worm bait 32 tobacco seeds 32 cotton seeds rolling papers some water some bread some bandages some carrot seeds a pickaxe uh a wood axe a fishing rod a collector coin coin from the commonwealth given out to those that caught the train in time for the 2.0 launch oh that's actually pretty cool a little collector's coin for uh being able to be one of the first people to join the server during 2.0 and a water bucket uh, either way though, no matter what we have in our inventory, we are going to have to change our clothes quite a little bit. Oh, we have the third eye as well with uh, the alt button. I thought the clothes place was right here. It is. Maybe I'm just dumb and you actually have to go inside now. Oh, wait, here we go. Ah, this is how we do it. Okay, we were just dumb. All right. So now that we've got that, uh, so Taylor, we're going to want to purchase some clothes. We do have $500 on us. Not sure how expensive this is going to be, but uh, let's go with the normal setup we had back on Zaviel. 
let me go get accessorized and all changed up can i take a little bit once again and i'll see you guys in just a second or two one eternity later Alrighty, i think we're set um for some reason like all the coloring just changed so i'm gonna see if that fixes when we go outside like we have like yellow eyes right now and everything's kind of like grayed out but let's save this and hopefully this fixes it yeah i don't know what is up with our character why do we look so like let's go outside and see if it fixes it uh if i can remember there we go let's exit there we go uh so not sure why our hair is not showing so like slash maybe if we take our hat off and on for some reason our hair is not showing uh let me see if i can fix this all right let me try something i'll do slash load skin oh hey there we go all right zaveel's back uh yeah i think this is oh my hello sir uh i think this is actually pretty accurate i'm not gonna lie i don't think i really messed up too much this looks this looks pretty much just like zaveel uh it definitely took quite a long time i don't even want to say how long i was in the character customization how long we were in the uh the outfit selection this freaking mask this little mask right here took forever to get but uh we finally got it now what do we do so first of all the uh, hud seems like it's changed a little bit on the bottom left you see we now have i think like probably showering for the uh, little bathtub thing i'm guessing you have to clean off every once in a while uh we have the stress meter which i think is disabled right now even though it's full for us and then we have our addiction meter but uh we gotta start somewhere off so let's figure out what's going on so let's check the bank out uh you sign documents for a new account access our bank all right so we have uh 495 dollars in cash on us so uh the problem is is that if you guys saw the update video that each bank now has its own storage as well as its own money so if i deposit money here then obviously that money is not going to be over in valentine or wherever we go so i think we're going to want to hold on to our money now and hopefully no one's being a scumbag this early on into the wipe but our number one thing we're gonna wanna do is most likely get ourselves a horse. What is going on over there? Yeah, I don't know. Some of the locals be a little crazy. Uh, there's still a delivery for parcels for $60. We're definitely gonna wanna do that. But uh, first of all, let's get ourselves a horse. Uh, there should be a stable, I believe, right over here. Let's head on over. Alrighty. Again, if any part of this video isn't like perfectly done or we aren't super, super like this, this, that, it's just because, of course, it is a new server. We have to get used to everything, just as everyone else. Uh, and I did come over here, but I don't think there's actually a stable here. I think the closest actual stable is going to be over in Vansburg near Van Horn, the Vansburg stable. So we're going to have to have. I think a little bit of a run over. Uh, we're going to go accept that delivery job because 60 bucks is, well, quite a lot of money this early on. And we're going to most likely be traveling that way anyways. I probably want to head over to St. Denis, uh, and then we'll probably head up to Strawberry, to be honest. But uh, we're going to have to start running all the way over there because, unfortunately, again, we don't have a horse. But let's quickly go over here, accept the delivery mission. I'm guessing it's the same as it was quite a while ago where we just accept this yeah and then we just go to the location i keep hitting escape to get to the map unfortunately but i'm guessing we just have to go down to thieves landing which is all the way over here uh yeah i never mind i thought thieves landing was van horn for some reason so uh yeah maybe we don't do that delivery one run maybe at some point we'll hit over there uh but right now again without a horse we're kind of out of luck let's run over to the uh the good old van horn stables and see if we can pick us something up that will at least last us the beginning part of this series and we're here so let's see i'm guessing we talk to this fella over here all right maybe just open stable and now we could do there's quite a couple things it looks like they changed this menu to be a little bit cleaner which is nice let's go to horse auction we have quite a couple ones here um wait what is this is this storage i don't know what this symbol here is i'm guessing that's storage because this is definitely money but i'm guessing that's storage maybe although i'm guessing you have to put the bags on the horse for the storage so i'm not exactly sure how that works um but let's just find something that's going to be the cheapest thing here a freaking zebra would be nice uh any of these can we afford doesn't seem like it is there a there is a mangy a mangy uh now we could have a new trashy um yeah let's see what else there is though quickly before we end up having to get another mangy so that's again how we did start our first series 
Yeah, I think the mangy is going to be the way to go, to be honest. It seems to be the only thing we can actually afford. So, let's uh, let's get the good old mangy once again. So, how do we do this? So, we hit enter. Uh, do we hit the money down here? Do we hit this? Or is this just a switch to the different ones? I'm pretty sure they all look pretty much the same. And then maybe this is to buy it. Boom. Uh, we'll get... We'll get a mail. We need a name. We need a name. So, we had Trashy before. And, of course, this is not going to be a good horse that's going to last us very long. So, let me think of one. One eternity later. Alrighty, so... <laughs> I was thinking for quite a bit. May or may not have been looking up synonyms for uh, trashy, and what I found is riffraff. I feel like riffraff is a good name, a good name for uh, this kind of horse. So let's name him riffraff. Boom! There we go, and uh, we should be able to pull him out. I think we might actually have to go to a stable boy. I'm guessing the closest one's going to be over in Van Horn. Let me just double check. We can't grab it from here does not look like it let's go horse barn riffraff and wait what is this call for horse i think will it allow us to actually grab our horse here oh okay that's convenient all right let's get on <laughs> we got riffraff <laughs> definitely a fitting name i think uh well let's head over to saint denis Let's see what's happening over there. Doesn't look like anything's too different for like the little horse stats at the bottom left either. Obviously, this guy's gonna have horrible stamina and everything, but uh, let's take our good old boy Riffraff over to uh, Saint Denis and I guess see what's happening over there. Uh, we're gonna have to find something to start off with. It's just, you know, obviously, I'm just excited to start a new wipe. There's a lot to do, a lot to check out, but uh, let's head over to Saint Denis, see what's popping over there, and uh, check out a little bit of uh, Gold Rush 2.0. Alrighty, starting to head into Saint Denis. We already see a couple people farming. Uh, as you can tell, Riff uh, Riff Raff over here is not doing the best. Uh, yeah, it seems like the stamina is really rough on him. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to grab some carrots. Now we did start with some carrot seeds, so we definitely could do a little bit of farming. Although uh, I kind of want to get started a little bit more than just you know starting off with farming right in episode one. Kind of want to explore a little bit, but again we are gonna need some carrots to help our horse. So uh, let's head into town. I also of course want to just purchase some of the starting stuff. We need to get ourselves a gun to make sure we can be safe and. And, uh, of course, see if we're able to get our riffraff. I keep almost calling him trashy, but uh, if we can get good old riffraff, some carrots. Let's look around town, see what we can find. Alrighty, so I believe there is a gunsmith right here. Hopefully someone's working at it. Especially this early on, hopefully there's someone here. Worst case, I think there should be a local that we were able to buy from inside take a look though i was hoping there'd be a gunsmith here so we could ask him if he knew anyone who sold carrots doesn't seem like there's anyone working here but i guess we're gonna have to buy from the catalog okay so the catalog's a lot different now it's a lot easier um it seems like you're not really able to actually buy any of the more signature weapons you're guessing you have to buy that from an actual gunsmith and these seem whew, quite expensive uh 115 dollars for a cattleman uh we might just honestly want to wait till we get in contact with gunsmith because i'm guessing it's a lot cheaper from them i think we're gonna hold off i think we're gonna hold off we might just head to another town let's actually take a look see what else is around this town see if anything's different uh seems like there's some properties for sale everywhere now that everything's available we definitely need to get our money up oh this is i'm guessing this is the hotel i do want to check out the hotel because that was a feature that was teased a little jewelry shop that used to be there as well i'm guessing there's still a boat to Gorma doesn't look like there's a boat to Gorma here unless I'm guessing it's the Saint Denis port that gets you over there but uh let's go check out this hotel real quick I kind of am interested to see what it is for uh the good old prices over there and how much it is to actually get a hotel room let's check it out over here all right the hotel grand let's see can we talk to this guy no I'm guessing can we just walk in does not seem so is this actually the hotel it should be the hotel. Maybe it's just not open yet. That's also a possibility. At least that's my only guess at the moment since we're not able to actually get in there. Yeah, I'm guessing it's not open. Maybe that's a feature that's uh, open but not ready yet. Actually, there's some police right there. We could ask them, but 
Yeah, let's just keep going on. I think we might actually go to a different town. Saint Denis is not exactly my favorite. It's a little bit too big of a city for me. Uh, we do need to get some carrots before we head out of here, though. Let's go see if we can catch up with those lawmen. Let's see if we can ask them. Oh, I'm sure we'll fucking find uh, her eventually. How's it going? Howdy. Uh, you all happen to know anyone selling carrots around here? No, no. I'm pretty no? sure everybody's okay. kind of stuck. In oh, everyone's just doing right their now. own thing? Yeah, that's what I yeah. said. All right, all right. You should have got, some, got some yeah. carrot seeds. Yeah, you can just oh. go north of here and grow. Wait. Ah, I guess I might just do that then. There's some good farmland around here. Yeah, yeah, just north here. All right, all right. I might go do that then. Thank y'all. Y'all take yeah, care. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, you too. All right. Well, yeah. As I assumed, since it's the start of a wipe, there's not going to be many people selling much of anything. So we might have to go grow some carrots of our own. Again, a little bit of a rough start starting off here. Uh, is there a farmland? It seems like there is a farmland up there that I saw the guy farming at before we actually left. Oh, there's like a little distillery over here as well. Definitely cool. We could go down over here near roads. I kind of want to check what's going on in roads. I don't think there's anything crazy here. Doesn't seem like it, but uh, I think we're going to have Riff Raff try and make it all the way over to here. And that's where I think we're going to go do some farming. We're going to have to get some carrots of our own. It's a little hard starting off, but, you know, obviously it's the start of a wipe. Everything's not going to be too easy starting off. Let's uh, head all the way over there slowly on Riff Raff. Uh, Riff for short, I guess. And uh, I'll meet you guys once we're over there. Finally, growing some stuff. Uh, it seems like our starts aren't going to be too different from our first start on Gold Rush. Let's head over there, though. Do some planting. Get ourselves a little bit of carrots to help us along our way on our adventure. Alrighty. We're over at the farmland. And apparently there is some new systems for the farming. So I'm kind of interested to check this out either way. So uh, let's start doing this. So again, we're going to probably just do our carrots for now. Just so we're able to give our horse a little bit of food. Uh, this seed won't grow in these conditions. Okay, maybe that wait it just uses our seed no matter what though this seed won't grow in these conditions okay so again that's something that we saw as well that only certain seeds will grow in certain areas that's probably why they recommended me to grow uh north of saint denis so we might actually have to head back but while we're here can we plant tobacco here nope can we plant cotton here nope okay so at least we know we can't plant seeds here kind of annoying that it actually takes it out of your inventory i think it shouldn't if you're not able to plant there but ah uh, this was this just like a whole entire waste coming over here can you really only grow carrots over there damn okay well we might have to head back over to saint denis i forgot totally that you can only farm certain stuff in certain areas i thought you'd probably be able to farm carrots anywhere but apparently that's not the case and we just wasted a boatload of time and effort Let's head all the way back to St. Denis and freaking grow these carrots already. Oh my, quite a lot of time was just wasted, but let's head back over and at least we know for the future now. Alrighty, we're over here, a little farmland. Let's uh, hopefully start farming a little bit. Again, we just need to really make these, do these carrots so that we can actually feed our horse, which will definitely be nice. Oh my, oh light, yo, twice. Hook on a wash for your shoe. Oh, Lee. Be careful with that. Hey, jeez. Oh, Lee. We almost just got our head shot off. Not exactly the best gun safety there. But uh, let's see if we can plant these here. There we go. All right. We can finally. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is way different. I'm actually just able to select like where I plant it. All right. Well, let's just plant it like that. Okay. This is an interesting system. Riff Raff's getting a little scared about the gunshots. Hey. 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 Okay, well, well, we'll grab him later, uh, but let's continue planting here. So again, this is actually a lot easier system. We can actually select where it goes, which is definitely a lot more convenient than it just being placed down. So let's place this one in a row as well. Oh, this is actually, oh, this is a nice system. I'm not going to lie. This is way nicer than how it was before. And where's our last one? There it is. Place that down. Okay, this is a way nicer system now. Are we third eyeing this or how are we using this? I'm guessing we're gonna have to go fill up this water bucket. Uh, although I have heard that apparently, I think they said something about it being able to fill it up more than once, which will be a lot easier because before you had to fill it up literally every single plant. You had to fill it up, go water a single plant, fill it up, go water a single plant. Let's see. Okay, locals, looks like they're not having the best time right now. Uh, but let's see how this works. So if we go up to this, how do we actually water it? That's the question. 
I think we might have to wait. Uh, it says dig seed up or plant. Let's try planting and seeing what that does. Oh, I think we're just selecting the area. So we can put this bucket away for now. And so I think what we're doing here is just selecting where we want to place them. And now we actually have to place the seeds. At least that's what it seems like. I may have messed up this animation a little bit. So let's wait for that to be over. There we go. Okay, so there's a lot of different stats on this now. Uh, we have quality water and fertilizer. And then we also have the grow time, which looks to be 16 minutes. Let's uh, quickly plant all of these. So that's interesting to know. Let's uh, plant them all and then we'll start watering and see how it changes. All right, there we go. Well, actually, wait, has this one gone down, I think? Is that what we just saw? All right, so this one seems like the quality has gone down a little bit. Let's try watering it. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to have to go fill this up again. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely have to go fill this up again. But maybe we should be planting them and immediately watering them because it seems like the quality has gone down to 95%, which is definitely not what we want. Let's see what the best way to do this stuff is. So if we water these now, let's see what happens. Hopefully this will fix the quality. Okay, so quality is 95%. Water is 50%. So we should be able to water it one more time. Maybe not. Are we able to water this one? No. Okay, so maybe it isn't like a five time use. Maybe it's still just one use. I could have saw I saw in like the change logs for 2.0 that it was supposed to be a multi use. But maybe we can fill it up multiple times. Is that a thing? Doesn't seem like it. Well, either way, let's keep going on with our uh, stuff. I also like how it shows like the little markers so you can actually see which one you're looking at because that was another thing that was super frustrating about 1.0. But uh, okay, so this is 50% uh, water and then quality 95, 50% water, quality 95. Let's try filling it up with 100% water. Maybe each crop needs two now. Again, we're all just learning stuff right now. All right, so we're able to water this twice. Let me see how this works. So maybe we have to water it twice for the quality to be... Okay, so water 100%. So I'm guessing we're going to have to water each crop twice. It says grow time's 14 minutes. What happens if we try and fertilize it? Uh, we should have put our bucket away most likely beforehand. But I'm guessing we need some actual like fertilizer item to be able to fertilize it. I think just holding F yeah, doesn't really seem to do anything. And it doesn't add to our fertilizer. 12 minutes left, 12 minutes left. All right, so I'm going to go through, uh, start planting and watering each one of them twice. And uh, I'll see you once I'm done with that whole process. It'll probably take a little bit. So uh, I'll see you guys once we're done with that. Alrighty. So I finished watering all of them twice. It's definitely a little bit harder farming now. At least to be able to select the crops. But it seems we have one ready already. A quality 81%. Let's see how many carrots we get from this. Hopefully a decent amount. So 81%. We got five carrots. Okay, not bad. Next one is going to be 81% as well. I'm not sure. I think we need fertilizer to get them over 81%. At least that's what it seems like right now. Another five. And the rest of them still are growing a little bit. So we're just going to wait here another four to ten minutes, it seems, for the rest of these to grow. And I'll see you once we're back. Alrighty, so these all should be ready to go. Let's quickly harvest all them up and see how many carrots we got total. I think they have like a new harvesting like sound or sound effects because it you can hear that. It sounds quite nice. Let's do that one more time. It's quite a satisfying sound effect. Let's do that one more time. I don't know. It sounds very satisfying when you pick them up. So total we got 32 carrots out of i think we had if i remember eight seeds because we accidentally wasted two our horse should be somewhere over here i believe oh there he is good old riffraff uh and from what i've heard there are not really too many gunsmiths around at the moment just because you know obviously no one has materials to make actual weapons so i think we're actually going to head back to that original gunsmith we went to and we're going to grab ourselves up a cattleman and most likely a hunting knife as i do want to probably do some hunting early on just to make a little bit of money i saw a group of people hunting for birds so i'm not sure if maybe that's some real good money right now or you know what the deal is but either way let's head back in the saint denis uh, let's actually give a uh, good old riffraff some carrots here there we go Feed him up a little bit. Uh, I definitely like the new farming system as well. It seems really good. I'm glad we were able to try that out as well. But uh, either way, let's head up to the gunsmith. Get ourselves a weapon. Alrighty, here we are. That's, uh, we're not even going to hitch a horse. We're only going to be a second inside. I'm guessing there's no actual gunsmith working here still. Nope. 
so we're just gonna purchase ourselves a cattleman revolver and let's purchase like four things of ammo make sure we're good let's grab ourselves a knife and i don't really think we need a lasso too much at least i don't want to spend any extra money that we don't need to spend and let's take out our cattleman revolver again as it says not the best but it gets the job done and we should be able to load the revolver ammo yes now i don't see where all right i'm not sure where we're able to see how much ammo oh there it is so it has 51 in it and i'm guessing there's no way to see i think this crosshair is new as well For some reason i don't remember that crosshair being there when you're not actually have the gun out which is definitely nice to have but let's put that away for now it's obviously just something to help us out we can also take out our knife now as well uh now again we did start with a pickaxe as well as a fishing rod as well as a lumber axe so we have definitely quite a lot of options they don't really cost us any money to start up so uh we have quite a couple things that we're able to do now what i think i want to do i'm not sure why my horse keeps going to the right here okay there we go finally get him going the right way but uh, i think we're gonna make our initial kind of residence the place where we're gonna kind of store stuff keep our money at etc etc i think i want to start that as strawberry just because strawberry is relatively close to everything and uh it's a town that we're definitely a bit used to but uh either way i think we're gonna head up there uh if there's anything on the way that i want to check out obviously i'll stop in i'll let you guys check that out with me but either way i guess i'll see you guys when we're in strawberry unless something else entertaining happens on the way there all righty so we're just about at strawberry but i just found all this stuff on the ground so i mean free loot's free loot we got an iron mask i'm not sure if someone just left this here when they were digging we got a cooking pot so i'm guessing the cooking pot will actually come in useful uh and then over here there's an old arrowhead hey free loot I'm, I'm i'm gonna take it this early on in the series we're gonna take anything we can get but we're actually right in view of strawberry right here back to our uh kind of our original hometown wait what was that and there's some worm bait on the ground we can leave that there we actually might do some fishing as well because that was super good money uh, i also did hunt two turkeys on the way over i just want to test how much money you know the hunting is relatively but uh let's head in finally back at our hometown of strawberry quite a while since we've been here not a lot of people around it seems thankfully we know this town pretty well been here quite a bit let's go hitch up our horse and quickly sell this meat it doesn't seem like strawberry is too populated and again this is early on this is only barely the first day of wipe technically second day but i think the first day there were a lot of issues um are we not able to sell here anymore oh wait, no third eye i forgot everything has switched to third eye all right so we can sell the turkey stuff pretty cheap obviously not going to sell for a bunch let's just sell all that real quick uh, but i do think we might do some fishing let's see if there's anyone around town i'm not sure if anyone's really living out here just yet yeah, don't see too many people around uh now we can put all of our stuff up in the bank again i think we're gonna live here temporarily until we figure out where we actually want to live but i figured this will be a nice spot to uh be able to store our stuff for a little bit so uh, you send documents for a new account there we go so let's first of all deposit 200 dollars. we're gonna have 23 dollars left on us and then i think how do we access our safety deposit box that is what i'm trying to figure out do we have to do something else or maybe storage is in a different spot now access bank uh let me just make sure there's nothing here yeah i'm not sure where we actually store items 20 minutes later all right so honestly i guess i figured out why all this stuff was dropped it's because no one is in the freaking inventory space uh there is a fella here let me see if he knows anything all right never mind it's a local all right getting 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 tricked out already day one of the server uh it seems like the gunsmith up here i'm gonna guess that they sell all the same stuff i also forgot that the gun shop is not over here actually it's actually over down here now what is over here now uh post delivery job all that stuff uh speaking of delivery jobs i think we still have our original delivery job uh which is to go deliver something all the way to thieves landing which for a nice 60 bucks we might as well go and do Ooh, blackwater raceway i'm thinking this is one of the new things to be able to train your horses with i want to check that out on the way as well anything cool in blackwater i know blackwater has changed a ton so what i think the plan is for the rest of today is we're going to go down to blackwater check out all the new construction i don't know if there's any actual new businesses here it doesn't look like it 
but I know there's a lot of construction that was done of all the buildings down here. I want to see if all this is finally built and then we'll head down, probably check out this raceway and see what that's all about. I think that's a different way to level up your horse, which I think is really cool. And then we'll head down to Thieves Landing and turn in the health supplies. And I think we might end it there. And then tomorrow we will continue on. We're going to try and start actually making some money, meeting some people and uh, really starting off our adventure in a good way. Today was just kind of getting started, getting used to everything. And of course, just, you know, figuring stuff out, testing out the new farming, getting ourselves some carrots and uh, obviously getting ourselves to a nice town that we're comfortable with. But uh, for now, again, let's head down to Blackwater and check what's been done over there. Alrighty, rolling up to Blackwater. I believe this little doctor's office was already here. So we've already seen that. If I remember correctly, I think I might have moved location a little bit. Uh, the church, that's usually there as well. Uh, this is the main area I wanted to check out. Okay. Because before they were constructing a ton of buildings over here and now it seems to be just a bunch of camps is there actually anything here it doesn't seem like it seems to just be a little array of camps not exactly sure maybe this will get used later on uh we have the town hall here i'm pretty sure this has always been here let me see if it's uh looking all right inside oh there is the hotel that is new that is huge and that is that is 100 percent new we'll check that out just a second Seems like this place is locked for now. Actually, no, we can enter the courthouse. Um, I think this is the same interior that they had before. This one might be a little bit nicer. Little office over here. I, th I swear we've already checked this out, but I don't know. Oh, we have some jail cells back here. So I'm guessing that's where they're going to hold prisoners. And then we have, of course, the whole courtroom here. Definitely nice, but I'm excited to go freaking check out that hotel. Now that looks interesting. Hopefully our horse is still here. Yes, he is. And uh, this whole thing is new. This used to be just a huge dock over here. Now it's a whole entire freaking hotel. Let's check this thing out. Definitely a little framey around here. Let's hitch up our horse. Definitely a huge, huge freaking building. Oh my, yeah. We're going to look at the FUF dro FPS drops here. But oh my. All right. This is a nice freaking hotel lobby. Wow. All righty. Definitely nice here. We have a bunch of different rooms. I'm not sure if we can just go up and I'm not sure how you actually. Oh, never mind. This is not a room. This is just like a little church area. I'm guessing a little place of worship. Definitely nice. And then is this an actual room? No, this is like a little like a little kitchen area. This is such a cool little area, though, to be honest. Nothing over there. Just a bunch of little seating areas for dinner and such. Uh, looks like booking in here. It doesn't look like we can able to get a room from there, though. If we go upstairs. All right, here we go. So we're able to rent the room. This is 500,000. Obviously, that's not right. That's going to get changed. But let's check them out. Oh. All right. So you get a really nice room. You get a nice own fireplace. Can you actually craft there? Doesn't seem like it's a crafting area, though. You get a nice bed. Nice little uh, sofa and some chairs over here. I'm guessing this will be for storage if you actually own the room. Now, are all the rooms the exact same? Let's take a look. Oh, okay. So all the rooms are slightly different. This one's a little bit different layout. I like it though. What else? We actually might have to move over to Blackwater if they have hotels like this. Another nice, okay, another nice hotel room. That one has a little bit more privacy for the bed. Another one over here, a little bit smaller it seems, but definitely a little bit more cozy. I'm guessing you can sit down on this couch, can you? I guess you can, because it seemed like a bunch of the couches we were able to sit down on. Well, I guess we can sit there and such. But uh, definitely a cool hotel. We're not going to go through and check out all the rooms, but it's definitely a cool spot. Let's see what's on the next floor. I'm guessing it's just going to be more rooms up here. Yeah, just more rooms, but it's cool, because I don't think this is the same exact room as the one we saw downstairs. But maybe I have short-term memory, and it is. This room's definitely different than the one that was below it. And then it seems like there's a third floor. I'm guessing there's just... Oh, there's just two rooms out here. Maybe these are like the suites. Uh, okay, yeah. These are definitely going to be the expensive hotel rooms. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, this is like... This is a huge goal for us. This would be a sweet place. And then you have a bedroom over here. You'll have like your living room. Like you have a nice fireplace. Maybe even a kitchen in here. You could build a ton in this room. Let's see the other one. I'm guessing that one's going to be huge as well. I like her. What oh. do you mean? Okay, well, I'm not sure if that's someone's room. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. I just heard someone. I don't want to be interrupting any rooms here, but definitely a cool spot. 
Let's see though, if there's anything else new. That is definitely, again, that's a huge building. Look at how big that thing is. Again, that used to be just a dock there. Now it's a huge hotel, which I think is all custom made as well. And I'm guessing that balcony up there is the same balcony we saw. So wow, you can have like a full view of the city and the ocean and everything. That's definitely gonna be a goal for us if we're able to get that before it's sold. That's a really cool place to live. Uh, anything else new in town though? don't think so all this is looking pretty much the same frames are a little rough around the hotel but i guess that's to be expected let's see what else is around all right now i can be wrong but i think the rest of it seems all pretty much the same seems they still have this gunsmith they had in 1.0 i'm guessing everyone's getting all their stuff set up it's for that been, uh, definitely interesting but uh oh wait i just heard him say he's been making a bunch of guns we might have to check that out tomorrow uh but for now let's head over to that racetrack i really want to see what that's all about and i'll see you guys once we're over at the blackwater raceway all righty this seems to be the spot and quite a spot at that let's try and figure out where this whole thing starts I'm guessing we got to go into the actual portion let's do a little jump oh don't worry about that just broke the fence a little bit so where is this actually located it looks like it's right ahead of us yeah we're pretty much right on it uh it doesn't seem like there's anything that we're able to interact with here so I'm not sure if this is not fully set up or this is just for like RP stuff. Uh, I did see something in the change logs a while ago that we did talk about that said that you have to actually do these little courses with your horse to actually get XP with them. But it doesn't seem like we have any option to like start a race or something. Let me see if we just... Oof. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this works. Um, we're going to have to figure all this stuff out eventually, but definitely cool. I'm guessing these are little training things on the side here. Maybe our horse does level up a lot more by doing this kind of stuff. Not exactly sure how this all works, but either way, let's go head over to Thief's Landing though, and uh, finally turn in our little delivery mission we got all the way over in Ansberg, and again, make a little bit of money from it. 60 bucks is not a small amount of money as well. So let's head over there and grab that money. All right, here we are back in Thief's Landing. Always, always a good, interesting area. Uh, I'm guessing there's not going to be really anyone around here. It's a pretty low-key spot. And of course, we're not really going to see a ton of people. Everyone's, I think, trying to just find where they want to be around at this moment. We're going to see people in passing a bunch, but obviously we're not going to see too many people populating too many towns just yet. So it seems like the place is behind us. Again, we have this freaking map animation that takes two years. A little, little frustrating when it happens every time when you like have to find a specific spot. Well, let's get off our horse here and we should be able to there we go collect the parcel there's 60 bucks boom we made an easy 60 dollars our first day not bad at all uh i do think that's gonna be about it today uh obviously we didn't do like a ton in terms of progression but really we just want to test out the server a little bit we did a little farming got used to that system we finally made our way up to strawberry of course dropped off of most of our money there we still need to find a spot where we're able to drop off our items or else we really can't progress with really doing anything if we can't really have anything on us so uh, i'm gonna try and figure that out for the next episode so we can have this all go a little bit smoother and we can finally get into some rp start maybe making a business i was thinking about maybe farming a certain crop or two since now they're all in different locations you're gonna have farmers who specialize only in one crop so we might actually start off doing that we might start off doing hunting we might try and go find a, a nice job for ourselves whatever you guys want to see make sure to let me know in the comments section below but uh, i think that's gonna be about it for this episode if you guys did enjoy and are excited for the new start on gold rush 2.0 make sure to give this video a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video.